Jack's job is not to hold up the brakes. Jack's job is not to build things that burns in. Jack's job is to expand the network. Crypto slow. Cryptocurrency news and investing. Crypto slow with more crypto gains. What's going on, guys? So, today, get my thoughts on the XN network. All right, so there's a lot of FUD and squabbling and blah, blah, blah. And Jack should support the price of Zen and this and that. A lot of it is just low-level thought, in my opinion. So, number one, not everything needs to burn Zen. Okay? I mean, it's never going to get... Zen is never going to move unless there's things that, you know, we can do with Zen that may not necessarily be burning Zen, you know? It could just be using Zen as a utility of some type. So that's number one. That's a really important point. Um, number two, people are forgetting what Jack's job is. Jack's job is not to hold up the price. Jack's job is not to build things that burn Zen. Jack's job is to expand the network. Adoption. Adoption. So, I think the single most important point that you can take away from XN is it is providing and VPMX is it's VPMX is providing a trustless decentralized unstoppable way to go from ETH to Bitcoin and Bitcoin to ETH and you're like well why is that important because once again it's opening the rails for decentralized trustless adoption because now people on BTC let's say they shut this down shut that down can get over to ETH to mint some Zen <laughs> and that's the whole idea. People are missing the point. You're you're giving Jack a role that that's not his role as the developer. His role in being laser focused is expanding the network. And as the network gets a bigger, the value of the network increases. It's very simple. It's very simple. So in my opinion. You know, all these side projects, you know, putting pauses on their web page and pro uh, peaceful protesting, you know, that's fine. But the reality is this is much bigger than a couple projects. You know, I said in the beginning, you know, a lot of people gave a lot of, of focus on DBZen. And the reality is the tokenomics of DBZen, this is nothing bad. The tokenomics of DB Zen were very, very simple. It was nothing new. It was a clone. It was a clone of existing uh, tech that's been done a million times. It's just in the right time at the right place. Okay. And the problem I had with DB Zen was if you didn't get in in the first seven days, you're forever fighting for ROI. And especially on the east side, it takes massive amounts of capital. So if you missed it, I really wouldn't sweat it too much. There's going to be tons of projects on Zen. There's going to be projects on XN, um, you know, and the VMPX minting on ERC is coming up. Um, it's another opportunity to get in. So, you know, I guess the takeaways again, remember Jack's role as the developer is to expand the network. That's the single most important thing that he can be doing. Because expanded network equals more value, equals more moon, moon cash for everyone involved in the Zen ecosystem. Okay? So, and number two, be flexible, be adaptable, and um, otherwise you're going to miss out on gains. So, with that being said, like, subscribe, and as always, this is Crypto So. If you're not talking gains, then we're not talking.